Hello, my name is Airedas Kirstukas, and in this WordPress Astra team tutorial, I will explain you how to set a logo. We will look at WordPress dashboard, layout, header, site identity, customization settings, and I will explain you what is logo and where to get from Canva or Vector.com. What is Retina logo, site title, tagline, site icon or favicon? By the end of this video, we will create this kind of site identity and we will compare with Volto brands like Toyota, Rolex, Microsoft or Apple. So if you like what you see so far, please keep watching this video. So let's log in your WordPress dashboard. When you logged in your WordPress dashboard, you have to go to visit site and then press on customization and then you are going to layout, header, site identity. First thing what you see is logo, select logo. So you press select, they are suggesting that image dimension should be 160 by 60 pixels. If you don't have anything you shouldn't have, you need to go and upload. But where we can get them from? We can get from Canva or Vector from Vector.com. I go now you explain what the difference. Okay, so if you see here, if you would upload the logo, normal small logo, then it would be kind blurry in the big screens so on bigger screens you would be need a bigger picture so that you have the option different logo upload for bigger screens if we would so if you're doing in Canva then you need to two two size of pictures one bigger and one smaller and if you do in vector then you you it's enough one type of the picture because vector it doesn't losing its value when we getting bigger so my personal opinion would be and suggestion to do the logo in a SVG format if you can and that would be much easier option so let's go back on our site I already created the logo in this used online if you would press use just wait and then let's create some text press on text button w i created press center you can move it or make it bigger let's make it bigger so you make it bigger you can play with all those settings and when you're ready you go and go export and then you have to pick SVG format for one option and then PNG for favicon option so I already made it those so if I would go here and select the file and my logo and we'll try oops we saying sorry this file is not permitted for security reasons so what you have to do you have to go back okay and then you're going to your dashboard going into plugins option add new and then you search for SVG and that first one and you should install it this plugin helps accept SVG format files in a WordPress yep installed activated all done so we're going back visit our site and then customization again we're going into same place layouts header site identity and select logo select files and logo I created and it uploaded logo. 
here you you should write title and as well you have to copy and paste in alt text it's better for search optimization engine skip cropping it's svg format is not allowed to crop anyway so you you don't have even a, even that option so skip cropping and you have your logo your logo is displayed on the side and if you have SVG format, you don't need to worry about a different logo for Retina devices as would in effect because this one don't lose in value as explained. So you can now the logo. Let's say we see the logo. If I'm gonna go to about us, it's not on transparent background logo, it's on normal one logo. So it looks like same logo and it's it's nice I would say, but if we would go back in this dark one, it's hardly seeable. So in Astra team you have an option if you go to transparent header and you can different logo from transparent header you have an option and then you can select an image upload files i created the same one it just with the lighter colors logo white i write it just type in my name basing on the altest choose image yep and you as you can see it's now our logo is white background publish just save it publish is like save it so if we're going back and now if we're gonna go to about this page as you see in this one would be nice logo with dark colors and in on the transparent background it's gonna be white logo so this is nice so if you're gonna go back transparent hazard into site identity we set this one this is is logo logo size you can do bigger you can do smaller so if we're gonna look at top brands like apple we have small logo on the top so if you wanted to keep this kind of design so then you can make small logo and this one if let's say you prefer this microsoft type of logo you can go and you can display your name and this is like it's how it is it's same to very similar to microsoft logo and then rolex rolex have middle one so I'm gonna show you if you prefer this design. If you prefer this design, then you have to go. Just you going back and primary header, and then you have an option. You press in the middle option, and you are in the center. But this one, the name and the logo is still dis displayed in the same line. So if you will go back, site identity and then you can display site title displays in line you can press this button up and then would explain display this displaying like rolex and let's say toyota toyota have same thing it just displayed on the left so not in the middle so where you have an option as well too if you would go primary header option then you can transfer on the left it's similar like toyota it's only need a bit bigger logo that would be look much nicer so if we're gonna go to site identity back i personally like in line just save 
room and it's much nicer look for me. And then tagline. I personally would write WordPress tutorials. Just big P. So that people would know what is about my website, just as a hint. In a Toyota. No, we don't have, we don't need to have anyway. So, yeah, so this is kind of done. And then we're going back with site icon. Site icon is like favicon, which this one, this simple symbol upstairs. If you're gonna go site and you need select upload files, select file. It's saying maximum upload file, it's suggested image dimension 50. 512 by 512 favicon open and here you have to change you can leave it as it is but it much better for search optimization to have named the pictures because your website have the biggest chance to found it on search engines. You select and you can see them on the top. In next tutorial, I will explain you how to set the transparent header and normal header. So keep tuned on my channel and don't forget to subscribe and push notification bell. Bye bye.